Hey everybody! So what's going on today? What's going on today? People have been emailing me and messaging me. What's going on today? It's market crash. That's it. It's over. Ha ha, Mike, you were wrong. It's going down to the February lows. So I figured I'd do this video just to give you, you know, my viewpoint. You don't have to listen to it if you don't want. What is going on today? That seems to be the big question because the stock market is down uh, three quarters of 1%. So for a lot of people, this is like the end of the world or something. But okay, you listen, you know, it's a, it's a decent down move. And we did kind of look like at least technically have a reversal that day we were up 202. And then the next day we gave it right back. And then yesterday we were up a little bit mixed and then now today down some more you know <laughs> you can't always um ascribe or, or attach some kind of rational reason for why things are going down or why things are going up even sometimes now i know there are many of you out there saying you see it's because we have a deficit and we have too much debt and you know that's all bullshit that that has no relevance to this whatsoever uh, if you want to say the deficit is too small, we could have a discussion about that. But the deficit in and of itself is, is not a reason why the stock market is going down. Look, people decided to sell on a day when you had the largest increase in retail sales in a year. Okay, we saw that in the April data. The fiscal flows are at the highest level we have seen all, all year so far, all fiscal year. That goes back to last October with a 75 billion year over year you know i track these things on a daily basis so i see them every single day and i know you know if you're going to a doctor and you want the best doctor out there uh that's me okay when it comes to these flows you cannot go to a better specialist all right so i know what i'm talking about when it comes to this stuff what other fundamental reason is there i i just do not see it what has changed uh if anything for people who are afraid of a rate increase, if you look at treasuries right now where I'm short and I'm losing money on an open position, but treasury 10-year uh, yield has come down. It's like 1.70. So if that was a fear, it, it's not, it should not be a fear today. So everything that, you know, if you're going to look at this rationally from through my, you know, prism, the way I look at it, uh, there is nothing rational in this sell-off. It's people who, you know, the market started going down and people, every downtick, people are very nervous and there's been a lot of bearish sentiment out there, a lot of articles and people talking about crashes and, you know, people get scared and the selling begets more selling. Unless you have another reason, and I'm happy to listen to it, there's no other reason for it. There's no fundamentally driven reason for the sell-off. You want to talk politics? I don't know. You want to talk what? Tell me. You want to talk oil prices now or, or 46? You know, you can't make an argument back in January and February that low oil prices were a disaster for the economy and now they've bounced back to 46, which, you know, two years ago, 46 would have sounded like an impossibility, something that low. And now, you know, to make an argument that 46 is too high, you just can't do it. I'm sorry, it's just not a, a, a valid excuse. So I am characterizing this as an, one, another one of these kind of crazy, nutty, irrational sell-offs. People just want to sell. We'll see how it turns out, all right? But I have no problem with this, you know? And if you're going to trade, let me just say this. If you're going to trade in a macro, and I've said this before in other videos, if you are going to trade in a macro MMT fashion and these little wiggles in the market get you upset and ready to, to dump out when nothing in the macro picture has changed. Indeed, the, the macro picture has gotten even more bullish in terms of the way, you know, what the things, the things that we look at to determine whether it's bullish or bearish. And if you want to sell, then that's a sabotage. Okay, that's a self-sabotage. That's exactly one of the behaviors in, in what I talk about with mental game that'll kill you. There's two things you could do in this case. If you feel this way, you can abandon the system and go to some other 
methodology. Maybe you want to just trade in and out really quick, technical charts, breaks a line here, breaks another line. All right, good luck with that. Or you lower your exposure. Just bring it down to a level where something like this does not affect you. And your, your behavior is based on your analysis, not on every little squiggle. And yeah, you'll make a lot less money, you know, for a while in the beginning, but at least you'll build up some confidence in the approach. And no matter what approach you use, whether it's the trading in and out, fast, technical, you know, breaking a line, you're going to have to start off with very low exposure to build up confidence to, to prove to yourself that it's a valid approach and it works. There's nothing else I could tell you, you know. So enjoy the rest of the day.